DSLR cameras are the best value for your money. With a DSLR, you can get a powerful top of the line camera at a much lower price. But DSLRs can be very specific to certain shooting styles. So you have to make sure your DSLR has the right specs and features for your shooting style. Otherwise, you'll probably be disappointed with whatever DSLR you pick up. So let's take a look at the best DSLRs for your money and your shooting style. The first camera on this list is actually one of the most popular DSLRs of all time because it's one of the most powerful, and that is the Canon 90D. You can pick up a full kit with the lens at an amazing price, and this package is often on sale. So if you wanna get the best possible price on the Canon 90D or the other cameras we talk about today, make sure to check out the links in the description down below. So why exactly is the Canon 90D such a legendary camera? Most cameras only have a 20 to 24 megapixel sensor, but the Canon 90D actually has a 32 megapixel APS-C size sensor, which is actually one of the highest resolution sensor that you can get in a smaller APS-C size camera like this. And this is probably the most amount of resolution you can get at this price point. But by having so much resolution, not only is it a fantastic camera if you wanna take photos and crop into your photos later on, but it's also really great for printing large format images without losing any detail. And the Canon 90D also has a Digic 8 processor that gives this camera some seriously powerful features. For starters, it can actually shoot 10 frames per second, which is as fast as most DSLRs can go. Especially at 32 megapixels, this is surprisingly fast. And you can actually take up to 25 raw photos in a row or 58 JPEGs before this camera needs a break, making it a great camera for not only capturing high speed action, but you can also shoot for a pretty long time before this camera needs a break. And the 90D also allows you to shoot 14 bit raw giving you a ton of room to edit your photos later on. And you can easily deliver professional level results with this camera if you know how to edit. And the Canon 90D also has Canon's dual pixel autofocusing system, which isn't something that they put in a lot of DSLRs. But with this, you get 45 cross type autofocusing points, which is going to give you very accurate and speedy autofocus in both photos and videos. And pretty much if you're a beginner or a pro, you're going to get autofocus that's just set it and forget it. And it's pretty much always going to work. And you really won't have to deal with the frustration of getting the perfect shot, but it's just a little bit blurry. On top of that, the 90D also has touch autofocus using the rear LCD screen, which means you can pretty much use the autofocusing system kind of like a smartphone. Now, one of the things that made the Canon 90D such a legendary camera was how good the video was. It does 4K at 24 and 30 frames per second without a crop. And this is a feature that you're really not going to see in most DSLRs, especially at this price point. With this 4K video, it's going to take care of 90% of your needs. You could shoot YouTube videos with it, you could vlog with it, even make travel videos. It's pretty much a do-it-all video system. And on top of that, you also have slow motion at 60 frames per second for two times slow motion, or 120 frames per second for five times slow motion. However, one thing that I should mention is that when you're shooting 120 frames per second, you no longer have autofocus or audio. And as good as the Canon 90D looks on paper, it's also built like an absolute tank. It has phenomenal ergonomics and a really satisfying grip in your hands. It's a really comfortable camera to just carry around all day. And it also has a rear LCD screen that allows you to flip it around, vlog with it, but it also has touch autofocus and that LCD screen is just going to make your life a lot easier. But there's also a small LCD screen on the top of your camera that's going to allow you to see all of your settings at a glance. And this is going to make sure that you don't accidentally shoot on the wrong settings when you're in a high paced environment. And for serious video shooters, they've specifically positioned the microphone jack so it doesn't hit the side articulating screen as you're adjusting that screen. This way, you're not going to accidentally damage that microphone. And on top of that, the 90D has a ton of affordable lenses from Canon and third parties. My favorite lens for the Canon 90D has to be the Canon 18 to 135 millimeter zoom lens. It's a great all round lens, especially for new shooters. Overall, if you want one of the most powerful and one of the most popular DSLRs of all time, and you also want it at an amazing price, and it's now lower than ever, the Canon 90D is a pretty obvious choice and I highly recommend picking one up. But maybe you feel like you don't need all these fancy features and maybe you want about 80% of what the Canon 90D can do and get an even bigger discount on your camera. In that case, the camera that I always recommend to people is the Canon T8i. With the Canon T8i, you get a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor. While it may not be as high resolution as the Canon 90D, 
24 megapixels is still plenty of resolution for printing out photos and cropping into your images without losing too much detail. And the T8i also has the Digic 8 processor, which is the same processor from the more expensive Canon 90D. This way, you're going to get the same great autofocusing system, which is going to give you 45 cross-type autofocusing points, and the autofocus is also dual pixel, meaning you're going to get the same level of accuracy and speediness as the 90D. And the Canon T8i is only slightly slower when it comes to shooting photos. You get 7 frames per second when looking through the optical viewfinder or 7.5 frames per second when using live view. This is going to be perfectly fine for medium action shots, great for portraits and casual lifestyle photos, and it's only 3 frames slower than the Canon 90D and you're going to get a pretty heavy discount for that. The T8i also shoots 4K video at 24 and 30 frames per second with Full HD at 60 frames per second. However, there's one thing to mention, is that the 4K does come with a crop, so you're going to be zoomed into your image a little bit when you're shooting 4K, and the 4K really isn't going to have the same high fidelity as the Canon 90D. For casual lifestyle shooters, the 4K with a crop will be perfectly fine, and you'll actually get a little bit more range on your camera when shooting in 4K crop. But for people that are super serious about video and they really like to pixel peep, you may not want the 4K with a crop, but for a budget camera, this is still pretty decent 4K. And if you don't want to crop on your image, you can still shoot beautiful full HD at 24 and 30 frames per second and get a really good shot for vlogging and YouTube videos. On top of that, the T8i has the same great build quality as every Canon camera, including the Canon 90D. This is a camera you can take anywhere with you and it will not let you down, but the user interface and design is actually very user-friendly and probably better for new shooters, and it's going to be a more approachable camera that you're going to be able to figure out and understand a little bit quicker. It still has the more advanced features like a side articulating touchscreen. This way, if you're a vlogger and you still wanna to use touch autofocus, it's available to you, and with the side articulating screen, you can see yourself when vlogging. And like most modern cameras, the T8i also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to connect the camera directly to your phone. And the Canon T8i also has really good build quality, but it's not weather sealed like the Canon 90D, so I wouldn't be careful around water or moisture. But it does have a really user-friendly design, so it's probably a better camera for new shooters. The only real problem with the Canon T8i is that the battery drains pretty fast when you're using live view because it is a smaller battery. But for most casual shooters, that should be just fine. And you can easily pick up a spare on Amazon for about $30 to $40 for a two pack with the charger. So it's not that big of a deal. For most casual shooters, lifestyle shooters, and beginners, the Canon T8i is an absolute steal. You're going to get 80% of the performance that you would normally get with the 90D, but you're going to get a pretty heavy discount. And I love the fact that you have the same autofocusing system from the 90D in the T8i. And that autofocusing system for new shooters is going to be a huge help. But what if you want a powerful, top of the line, professional DSLR at half of its original price? Then you have to check out the Nikon D850. This is a camera that is still being used by professionals but it is now more affordable than ever. The first thing that most people will tell you about the D850 is the fact that it has a whopping 45.7 megapixel full frame sensor. And this sensor is actually double the size of the Canon 90D. By having a bigger sensor, you're going to get a wider field of view, which arguably looks more cinematic, more movie-like, but you're able to capture more light and more detail, thus giving you better image fidelity overall. If you're a camera nerd like me, this sensor is an absolute dream come true. With 45 megapixels, you could print your photos as big as a wall without any issues and crop in very, very extensively into your photos and still get 20 to 25 megapixel resolution. But on top of that, the D850 sensor, because it's a bigger sensor, also has insane dynamic range. You can bring back your shadows even if they're underexposed by two to three stops and the same goes for the highlights. But what makes the D850 even more impressive is that most high resolution cameras, especially in the DSLR world, are usually pretty slow. But with the D850, you're still going to get seven frames per second natively, but if you add a battery grip, you're actually going to get nine frames per second, and most DSLRs don't really go faster than 10 frames per second. So in terms of speed, this is actually a great action camera. And you can use the D850 for not only fashion, wildlife, action, sports, but anything where you have fast moving subject matter. And even if you're shooting far away with that high resolution sensor, you're going to be able to crop in 
pretty extensively. One thing about the Nikon D850 that's even more impressive than the high resolution sensor is the fact that it has 153 autofocus points, 99 of which are cross type autofocusing points. For comparison, the 90D only had 45. With 153 autofocusing points, you're going to get some of the best autofocus you have ever seen in a DSLR, even by today's standards. This way, you can shoot sports, wildlife without ever missing a shot. Now, when it comes to high resolution DSLRs, usually the video is pretty bad because of high resolution that sensor is. But the Nikon D850 actually has a video feature that you will not find in any other DSLR. The D850 has 4K UHD without a crop, and this is the only full frame camera that can record 4K video without a crop on the sensor. And it records 4K video at 24 and 30 frames per second, but you also have full HD at not only 60 frames per second, but also 120 frames per second. And it also has pro features like focus peaking and zebras to help you with professional video work. But the one thing that I do feel like the D850 should have for video is some sort of cinema profile or log profile, but you can set up a flat picture profile that's going to give you a little bit room to play around with your colors for professional video work. The one thing that also surprised me is that the Nikon D850 has exceptional battery life. I'm able to get thousands of shots on a single charge. I can literally shoot with this camera all week long without ever having to think about recharging this camera. Now, it probably doesn't come as a surprise that the D850 looks like a tank and is built like a tank. Not only is it weather sealed, but it also has every single button and dial for all the operations that this camera has. You pretty much never need to go into your menus and you can just flip a switch or a dial somewhere that's going to change all of your major settings. And a cute little feature is that the buttons are also glow in the dark for dark studio environments. But I will say the Nikon D850 is a very beefy camera and it's not something you probably want to lug around with you all day for travel shooting unless you're very serious about your photography and video. So be aware that it's a pretty heavy camera. And if you're new to cameras, the body of the Nikon D850 might be a little bit overwhelming, but if you can afford this camera, I highly recommend just taking your time to learn it because you're basically getting a Ferrari of a camera. And if you're a professional, you're getting a real workhorse of a camera at a very, very steep discount. And if you wanna make sure you get the best possible pricing on your Nikon D850, make sure to check out the links in the description down below for the best price possible. And I will see you boys in the next video. Peace.